Inspiration Nation. Hello, Lee Kemp here for another week on the podcast. As always, with Mr. Jose Noya and Mr. Ryan Griffey Bon Boniface. How are we, guys? Yeah, not too bad. Thank you, Lee. Yes, it's very good, Lee. How are you? Okay, you always do a dramatic pause, Joe. I'm not sure if you're going to say anything or not, or you're just keeping the keeping the tension alive. We are like on the news when they have like an international correspondent, and there's like a lag between <laughs> the, the stop of one com- part of the conversation and the start of another. That's what it sounds like. The reason I you never know who's going to speak, so I don't want to, I don't want to overwrite anybody. And back to you in the studio. Thank you, everyone, for listening, downloading, watching us on YouTube, wherever you're getting your inspiration nation. We appreciate you. And, of course, live on Instagram each and every Tuesday, half past eight GMT, somewhere about 3.30, 40 in the afternoon if you're out in the States. Um, just check out Jose Noya, Inspiration Nation on Instagram or any other social media platform to get Joe. And, of course, follow us at Listen to IN, Listen T-O-I-N. Right, so on our wheel of topics... Joe's done a topic. I've done a topic. Has Ryan done one already? I can't remember where we are. The point of the story is it's Ryan's topic this week. And I'm ass- I'm reassured, very reassured, that half an hour before we met online, Ryan sent a meeting that said, S word, it's my topic this week. So this is going to be a blind up. What have you got for us, Ryan? See, I could have done a Lee and gone, oh, it's not my week. We didn't agree it. Somebody else do it. <laughs> but no, I stuck it out. Uncanny, uncanny. I do my best. I do my Can best. Can you do an Inspiration Nation hello in that voice? No, I have to, it has to be at the time. It has <laughs> to, I can't. I can't just do it. So, kind of tying in with current events and it being uh, Lee's birthday tomorrow as we record this. So, happy birthday, Lee! Oh, casual clang. Thank you. I like it. Twenty nine. I am twenty nine. Ninety two. Um, <laughs> we. Uh, I thought I would talk about. Um, self-reflection or bring up a topic on self-reflection I don't feel like we've done many conversations about self-reflection specifically although I'm happy to be wrong in that I know we've had a lot of conversations about self-awareness and kind of supporting ourselves and things like that but I don't feel like there's there's been too much of a direct conversation on self-reflection I actually had a meeting today in which um, I was asked how I'd self-reflected on the last couple of years of my life and stuff and to be perfectly honest I don't think I ever really have sat there in a literal sense and gone cool what a change from two and a half years ago like what 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 a, what a mad change in my life um but I'm not sure if that's common or if um that's what everybody does I'm sure it probably isn't um or if there are kind of techniques that we can do to to kind of um to do that and I think an obvious one that jumps out to me is probably journaling um probably writing a a diary type entry talking about where you are and where you want to be and then where you're when you get to where you want to be reflecting back to where you were and setting new goals and things like that um but I I think kind of on the subject of it being Lee's birthday it's usually a time for me when it's my birthday that I reflect on maybe the last 12 months or kind of what I've done in the last year or what's kind of happened and um kind of close some chapters or you know get ready to start some new ones and things like that so that's kind of where my head's at with it that's kind of where where my uh my topic is at it's not bad for half hours work is it <laughs> i like it <laughs> good self-reflection are you gonna jump in Lee? You, you well I, had, I have a feeling that my name was mentioned a lot there so it sounds like this is probably somewhere for me to jump in with my pearls of wisdom whilst I absolutely don't multitask and try and make a little logo graphic for the show that says real self-reflection on the start of it as well. But it's like, I'm back. Oh, I, shouldn't, I'm I back. shouldn't have said the topic for like another 10 minutes to just ramble. <laughs> Properly wasted your time. No, no, that's me. I like to ramble before getting to the point, Ryan. You be more concise. We've got to mix it up. Sorry. Um, yeah, and I suppose there's different... I, I, the same as you, I probably don't do it anywhere near enough. We all, you know, it's some... I say we all talk about... I talk about the whole concept of not always looking up the mountain, making sure you look back down the mountain as well at where you've come from and everything like that, which is great advice to give people. And it is genuinely good advice and encourage people to do it. But I probably don't do it enough myself. I'm always looking ahead, looking ahead, looking ahead. I think we spoke something similar before. Well, it's not necessarily a bad trait because that's an ambitious trait, but you can sometimes forget 
you know how far you've come or maybe it hasn't maybe it hasn't been good um and you need to look at where you want to get back to or you know things are up and down and up and down and seeing where you've been so it's probably something that i could do more um i suppose and joe you got me to do it once it's somewhere hidden away back in the archives but you did get me to do a bit of meditation which i don't do stuff like that enough i don't just stop and think and i i think that would probably be a good way probably to be more self-reflective on things um in that kind of personal success kind of mentality because i think if i was if i was to present myself now to myself 15 years ago I'd probably have exceeded what my expectations were at the time. And we talked about this as you go on and you do things, your goals are incremental and they keep changing, they keep growing. So from that perspective, I think I've got a lot to reflect on and be pleased with from that, that way. Um, there's a lot of stuff I still want to do. So uh, that's, that's there as well. And I suppose there's a small everyday thing. So my journal that you guys keep nagging on me about doing, which I started to do a few, I've not done any more since the last time we spoke, but that again is, is trying to do it on more of a micro level. So that was kind of the macro level conversation, which um, you can look at that way, but lots of, you know, really trying to push myself to assess my interactions with people. Did I leave that person feeling good? Did I present myself well? Did I get what I wanted from the situation? What I could have done better? And I guess I, I've started to really force myself on that small level, but probably still not doing enough on the big level, if that makes sense. Do you That's think, how you ramble, Ryan. That's how you ramble. Do you think that, because um, I do this, and I don't know if it's, if it's a trait that, we share or if it's something that I just do but do you, do you find that you don't look back down the mountain as you put it because once you once you've climbed that part of the mountain that you once thought was um Ben Nevis or whatever you've suddenly realized that it actually isn't that big of a deal at all for a lot of things and you kind of think oh it's not really it's done it's not really that worth it kind of a, a once it's done it's done you've yeah. achieved it it's and done you it's not it doesn't it's not has got the same gravity to it when you look back mm -hmm. as when you're looking up it's not yeah, going I anywhere see that. it's yeah. not going anywhere so it's like um if you've done something monumentally huge fine yeah that probably is something to look back on but i, I think like small steps that you that you take whilst they may be worth a self-reflection piece i think to me i don't feel like i do it because I don't feel like there's a point because it's done and it wasn't that big of a deal. I may have thought when I first looked at it, that this was huge and it's going to change my life in some instances, but now I've done it or I'm in the process of doing those things. It's just kind of a, eh, that's okay. Uh, you know, it's just, is what it is. Yeah. And I guess the other aspect of it is all well, these, it's not like you're looking at this big thing you want to do and then suddenly one day you do it and then everyone's hoisting you up on their shoulders and cheering and clapping and you're like, yes, I've made it. It's the end of the film. The credits can roll. Normally they're incremental things that take a lot of work and a lot of effort. And, you know, you and take two, two biggest life things, getting married and having kids. There are events that happen on a day, but there's a hell of a lot of planning that goes into it beforehand. And then the aftermath is almost like, and rest rather than all oh, let's reflect back on what that looks like. There's almost a little bit of, Oh, thank God that's over. Mm -hmm. Obviously, with having kids, it's then a constant whirlwind and about five years go by before you've blinked. But it's, you know, a big, big change in things, things that challenge you, things that stretch you, things that develop you don't normally happen in a crystallized moment like that. So that's what I suppose that's where the longer term reflection comes in. So you can see those things because it's quite hard to see them when you're in it as well. Yeah. But it's still good to do that because those things do happen if you can step back and and have that look at it yeah what are your thoughts jose no I, i'd agree i think there was a couple of things that stood out for me i mean one is the incremental things i think you just don't notice it yeah um, like when i was doing my daily journaling <laughs> if i look back at I mean, my journal i don't know two three years ago even then there's been massive steps through three years ago like but you just don't notice it because it's in the daily and I think reflection is really important, self-reflection. And I reflect daily. So what I'll do in my journal, I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but I'll actually reflect on the day and think about, okay, so what were the three things that were really great that happened today? And what was the one thing I need to improve based on my day? And that's what I do every single day in my journal. Before I go to bed, I'll just reflect on the day. Three things, what went well, 
on one thing that you can improve. And gradually over time, you'll find that you'll start to maybe I need to be more assertive in this extra. Maybe I needed to be kinder. Maybe I needed like hold my temper. Just these little small micro improvements. And I think over time, that's a big, a big reflection piece. And what Ryan said about monumentally huge, I don't, it's like, if you look over 10 years, you probably have monumentally, you said Lee, you've exceeded what you would have thought you could achieve in 10 or 15 years. And we talked about it, we, we did talk about yeah. it. It's actually, ha you know, if I look in 10 years time, now if we look now, in 10 years time, where do you think we're gonna be? If we, if we could propel ourselves 10 years from now, and we're doing this every single day, you know, for that time, we'll probably think it's crazy where we come from. In fact, if we just think about the early days of the nation to where we are now, and think about what we're actually doing content wise it's massive yes absolutely it's, it is things that you're doing every single week you know that ryan's like putting the things together we didn't have any of this process at all and now we've got this process going on that makes this happen every single week at first you know there's a whole thing that happened there were real micro shifts weren't they they weren't like it wasn't bang it happened so I think self-reflection is important because it can, it can say where how far you've come and when you're feeling a little bit cool nothing's happened you can look back and say that can give you momentum to carry on so that's yeah, my and that is the trap to fall into and i do it and it's looking at the mountain thing is you're always looking at what you want to do and that is always moving because and that you know that's good like we said you don't want to just rest on your laurels you want to be moving ahead but you're always looking ahead and not taking that kind of breath just to look at stuff. I think that, and again, we, you know, we've well established that journaling isn't necessarily for me, but that sort of, that technique is, you know, I can't argue with the logic of the technique of having that discipline to look at a few good things um, and a few, you know, what did you say? One thing that you could have done better. Was that your approach? So it's, it's just one improvement after reflecting on the day and three things went well, because we can usually have a bad day, right? You can have a bad yes. day really bad day but if you can reflect back and go actually yeah, it was a bad day but what were the three things that, that went good about that maybe that you had a a lovely meal or maybe you had a nice conversation with someone but your work went terribly well but you can pick out at least three things that went i think it keeps that mind positive and also one improvement maybe i could have handled that conversation better it's not overwhelming either it's not like putting all these things on your plate it's just one thing that you can improve and three things you can really think actually i did okay now i think it's that whole confidence piece and one other thing i'll just say to you is that when we're progressing as well when you think you get to the top there's always more things to do right there's always more things you want to conquer because you're always in the, in the state of growth but it's always good to have a have a sit and just reflect just for a moment and that just takes two or three minutes a day to do that type of thing which would really help you and ryan i think it's a great subject self-reflection is a massive thing that we, i think a lot of people don't do i just don't think they do it because they think oh i'll just go to bed now and they just roll through their days and weeks and years and don't really think about actually how could that be tweaked that to just make things just a little better and if you could improve one percent a day for the next year that's a 352 day 56 day i couldn't think of days improvement if you think about a percent a day right a percent or even a 0.5 percent a day is a massive compounding effect over the over time you gave a really bad example for a tuesday joe of you know if it's been a bad day you may have had a good meal or good conversation because it's Tuesdays are busy because we record this so normally it's a quick dinner and we record this and I talk to you so there is no chance of a good conversation during the day either as well oh you know Lee we all do try our best don't we we try our best well, you can try you can try Joe one day you'll get there um I just want to give a quick shout out as we have a break in proceedings head over if you're a fan of what you listen to head over to inspirationnation.org.uk your one-stop shop for everything inspiration nation podcast is there links to the youtube channel um full details of the inspiration nation coaching service free 20 minute consultation with the man jose Neuer himself and of course there is the inspiration nation store where you can get all your inspiration nation i was going to say nation and national merch at the same time there don't know what i'm saying now it's all over the place mugs t-shirts hats face masks i'm not sure where my face mask is to put it in now but we have got mugs Mug shot for the camera. I don't yeah. have mine. Every week, Ryan. Every week. <laughs> most most weeks, not every week. Most weeks. Be fair. Be fair. Be now, being There's model one. modelled by the excellent Lee Kemp here. T-shirt from Jose, and there is a Inspiration National zip up hoodie on the wall behind me as well. All of it over there at inspirationnation.org.uk. Um, I was going to say, quick shout out to people on Instagram. Go on, Joe. Oh, well, I thought you could do that. All right, I've got Nina. Hey, <laughs> IG Love with Angela. So shout out to you. Brilliant. Thanks for coming on. Um, so 
Um, IG Life Lounge is running from something for Kai Michael called Believe Raids, which I'm part of that. It's really good. So every day you'll get an email to go give some love to someone on Instagram. I think that's a brilliant idea, by the way. And the lovely Nina has come on, you know, said, hi, IN crew. I think you put high in, was it hypnosis crew or something on there, Nina? But I thought it was brilliant. I love the title. Yeah, I get it. Autocorrect is not my friend either. And thanks for the shout out for the merchandise there, Angela, as well. So, Ryan. Were you thinking big reflection or small reflection on your on your subject, or a bit of both? Um, I don't know. We all we all like. We oh, he's found the face mask. We all like um, to talk about the big things, I guess. But do do we feel that? I don't feel like I know the answer to this already. But do we feel sweating the small stuff is um, as important as the big stuff? And if so. To what degree? So, if you spend, I don't know if you can put it into into quantitative terms, but if you if you spent, I don't know, an hour self reflecting on one of the biggest things of your year, how much time would you give reflecting on the fifth biggest thing of your month? You know, I I think the daily stuff is, and I get, you know, you reference a book I talked about age ago with Don't Sweat the Small Stuff, which is about not getting too worried about the little things that happen. But I think, like, and again, it's not what I do, but I commend it because Joe's thing with the little interaction each day, there's, there's a bit of look after the pennies and the pounds take care of themselves in that mentality thing that if you're, if you're lots of little goods, that was good, that was good, that was good in the moment things, and maybe, or oh, I could have improved on that, gets you your little iterations of things but then you you know it's that and i don't know you know how you schedule it but that trigger that you know every so often you look back over a time i mean you know like the end of the year is always a time to do it but again it's quite often right what am i going to improve for the next year but maybe actually we want to be like okay well what did we do over the last year and you you build in that so and I, th I think both of them are equally as important yeah and I think um, we did we used to do a journey update, didn't we? Back we did used to do a journey update. We've not done one of them for quite a while now. Done one. Maybe we have to schedule one in. Maybe that's part of the reflection process, you know? Maybe. I think I've decided what my next topic's going to be, guys. Journey update. <laughs> Cheat. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I think sometimes as well, it's like, I mean, I've just, I'm not this project at the moment. They've asked to reflect on the whole project. It's been going for over three months. Um, we're having to reflect a bit of a right reflection piece, so a little bit like, like you were doing, Ryan, with your piece. I've, we're having to do that now with the people that we're looking after, leaders I'm looking after. We're going to write up about their reflections, our reflections, and it is really a pair of people. It's also reflecting as a piece of building your own pathways to cement the learning that you've had over that period. So that's why I love the daily, because sometimes I can get a bit overwhelmed with big things like, well, where would I start with that? That might take me ages and you get put off because it's so, so big, right? It could take you an hour. Well, I don't want to spend an hour. I just want to have these little bits of time. And that's why I think that the incremental shifts is quite, it's, it's like a two, three minute job. But over a year, that's like two, three minutes over a year for 356 days, right? It builds up and it's compounding. And I think there's no, nothing wrong with reflecting on big things like we're doing for projects and things that maybe journey update. I just think sometimes people just aren't willing to commit the time. And I think the small and often like, Lee said the, the pennies and the pounds I think there's a real big shout on that but I absolutely agree if you can take time to really reflect on you know I think the end of the year we did a we did a didn't we do a, a podcast on you know the, the New Year's resolutions for instance you know you look back yes. on your year what you're going to do we, we had a big podcast on rules you know what we're going to do and stuff like that so but it's all reflection about what you're going to do what you've been doing this whole podcast is a reflection if you look at back you know look back where we got you know we're reflecting on things My, the blog that I do is a reflection of the week so there's probably some things that you do that you may not aware of but so for me i'm reflecting quite a bit when i think about the things that i do and i think it just helps me can recognize what do i need to do better and what's going well at the moment and i think that's a really powerful thing to be doing so you can be, continue to keep the habits that really work for you and discard the ones that don't um, or you know you may not discard them straight away but you can start to attack them little by little incrementally and that's what i think Again, self-reflection, what a great topic to run. But I'll throw the ball out to you guys. I find it um, hard to um, motivate myself to kind of reflect on the smaller stuff because it happens so often. 
the smaller, the small, uh, you know, the, the big things that happen like projects or uh, courses and stuff, you know, they last six, nine, 12, 18, in some cases, 30 months. Um, so yeah, fair enough. Probably should reflect on, you know, where you were at the start of that and where you are at the end of it. But um, some of the smaller type stuff that maybe lasts two, three weeks, couple of months and stuff, because they happen so regularly, it's, it's hard for me to consider, not consider, but it's hard for me to, to think that, oh yeah, that'd be, you know, that's good. Let's, let's have take some time to think about that because it's, it's not that it's nothing, but it takes, those things take such a smaller amount of effort in comparison to the bigger things that, is it really worth the reflection time? That's I'll how, just... that's how I approach it. I felt sorry. That's, how, that's just how it kind of, that's how it sits sits with me. I'm not saying that you shouldn't do it, and I'm not saying that I'm right in not doing it. I just, for where it sits with me, that that's kind of where it rests. I think this is also, and I get what you mean because it's just the, it's the big things. But I think it's being a, it almost goes back to that present moment stuff about sitting with yourself and knowing what you're thinking, and then like like you said before, Ryan, if you had like a bad day, like it was a terrible day at the office, reflecting on that bad day because usually we'll, we'll end up going, oh, I'm just going to go and I don't know eat a load of crap or I'm going to wallow for a bit because I just need to get over this bit. But what we could do is we could look at that day and go, yeah, it was a bad day overall, but what were some good things about that? What were the three good things? And what could a one thing I've gone there? And I think it's a really, really powerful thing. And I've got this, this tip, and I'm going to tell you where I got it from. I got it from Tools of Titans, a Tim Ferriss book, and it's in there. And I wanted like something... Like you, Ryan, I like I struggle with um, like dedicating time to it, and I wanted I wanted an easy one pager I could do each day, and that's what I dedicate to it, and that and that's how I use it. And I find now when I've carved out the time, I think you have to physically carve out your time and say, right, before I go to bed, it's like a routine. Before I go to bed, I need to write that out. I need to put the improvement and the three things that I appreciate about it, what went well. And it's a it's like almost like building into a bedtime routine. Usually, I just usually before I did any this, I just go right, turn the off. I'm up to bed. But actually, now I've got a routine. I'll write in that book before I go to bed. I'll have a think. It's only like a minute. It's like literally a minute, and then I write. And then I think, you know what? It has been a bad day, but this is what I pulled out, which was great. And it really does help. And it's and it's really helped my mindset when I've really struggled, especially with this big project I've got on. Because some days it's been really difficult, and I've told you guys about it that I really struggled. But that's really helped pull me through and recognise, actually, the thing that I recognise, I actually got through the day, which was a good thing, right? I actually got, I survived the day. And that, for me, is where I sort of got the wins. Myself to keep yourself going. So that sort of thing works for me. Over to you. Lee? It's a, it's a good tip. Again, I, as you know, and there's different ways to do it, I struggle with that routine of doing it at a certain time. Um, but probably need to do a bit more of that little reflection because I do think it's right. Like Ryan, like you said, do we do it enough? You know, what how does it work? And I do. My immediate thought went to that big looking down the mountain thing, but actually, it is a lot more about those those little moments. And I think that's you know, I know we're not in the learnings bit, but that's my bit I'm taking away from today is to be more reflective day to day. And it, it won't because it's not how I work. It won't be writing down some notes before I go to bed or designating at four o'clock every day. I will do it, but what I want to have is a trigger that when I'm feeling stressed, I can be like, okay, what were the good things? And actually when I'm feeling good, I can be like, Oh, what's made me positive today. But also, even though I feel that, what can I still do to improve? And I just, I want to try and build that mentality team mentality. Easy for me to say into my brain. And that's, that's my big, big takeaway from today with this, with this subject. Well, big takeaway, we better write that down, don't we? Let's write that down. So big takeaway, Lee, is one improvement. Some, one imp so a quick bit of self-reflection for me is that I've been pretty poor with uh, checking in with uh, the pair of you specifically. Went through a phase of where I'd call Lee like two, three times a week and just be like, what's, what's going on? But um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I just feel like I've, maybe I've been a bit busy or a bit inside my own head. And just not really. Um... There's been a Ryan-shaped hole left in my uh, in my life right now. I wondered what you wondered what descriptive word you were going to use. Then. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, that, you know, there's a bit of self-reflection there for you. I've been pretty poor with that, so let's let's see if that's I can. That's the improvement. Okay. 
Oh, we have a couple of good things that happened today, then. Uh, Lee got to speak with me. Yes. All right. There you Resolved. go. No. Uh, a couple of good Please. things that happened today. I finished a course that I've been doing for a couple of years. Okay, um, yeah. What else is there? I've planned out the rest of my rest of my month in my, my work calendar. I've got nothing else that I, that I need to make sure gets booked in. For those things, I could, if you gave me 15 minutes, I could list you about 20 things, 10, 15, maybe 20 things that I've done or put in motion today or this week that are good things. So as, an, as a real life example, like well, why, what's the point of me sitting here and reflecting on that? Because that's just a weekly requirement of me to do my job. Whilst it's a positive thing that helps me do my job, it's just part of my job. So it, I know in the same way you could make the argument, well, doing that course was part of your job, if you like. And yes, yeah, I guess, I guess you know, I take that point. But this is this is rudimentary. Like this is this is basic stuff that I do to help me do my job. And it, and it isn't. I don't. I, I don't feel like it warrants me having to sit there and reflect on the good element of it. I've, if that makes sense. Well, I just say it doesn't have to work. It could be anything. I think no, of course, of course. But just as a real life example, it could be that you've had a massive argument with someone. Not that be work could be outside, and it's this, and it's a psychological, it's a psychological boost for you to have those three things that went well, and it's a habit that builds resilience. Um, and I know for me, you know, I've suffered anxiety and depression. And this for me is, is something that I can write and go, yeah, this is something I can focus on and, and continue to build that. And it does build that thing. So I think it's it's just something to, to think about, you know, and yeah, and, and it's the little things that make a big difference. And it's sometimes we may have to rest to make that, hey, you know, Ryan, you, you know, you did plan that thing and, you know, you, you had that good win. And I think that's a psychological boost for you to say, okay, this didn't go very well, but these are three things because we default to negativity. Don't forget, right? We tend to focus on, oh, this is terrible. You know, your mind will default to everything that's gone bad instead of finding things that are good. And it's not to be, and it's not to be you know, like a fake. It's about yes, things are. You know, you're looking at factor. Yes, things are bad, but what is it in that that I can find that's good to, for me to continue to press on and find the energy to go forward? And the way that's going to hide is going to find the three things that you did. Hey, that was all right. I got through the day. And the one tweak might be, oh, I just need to speak to X a little bit kinder or whatever. And that'll make a little shift. So you're always in action as well. So it's the action and then recognition, which builds a psychological resilience for you to press on. Mm -hmm. um, and I've definitely found, you know, doing it, you know, sort of whatever, 939 days or whatever, um, that I do that, it definitely has made a big difference because it's, the, it's again, it's the micro times throughout the year, not the big things. But when you look back, there is big things, right? Your big things have happened. So. so in a couple of months, Joe, are we gearing up for the 1,000th daily video celebration? It is, it is. Well, it's 939, I think, today. So... I can't work out. Two months. That. It's two yeah, months. Look at that. Exciting times. Exactly. That will be months. that will be oh, good right. to do. The pressure's on. The pressure's the eighth, on. The eighth of August, I think, will be ten thousand. I think so. I just need I just need to mention quickly, need to shout out, because I noticed it and it made me laugh. Nina clocked, I think it was Joe, your washing machine going off in the background during yeah. the uh, the podcast there. Yeah. Brilliant yeah. stuff. That I would say that's normally the theme to my Zoom meetings during the day for work is a washing machine going off to tell me it's done. And everyone's like, What's that beeping? So good spot there. I like it. I love it too. Um, Ryan, any more on self-reflection before we wrap things up here? No, well, I, get... I think I'm there or thereabouts. So what was the takeaway for you, Ryan, from today? What was the takeaway for you? Sweat the, the sweat the small stuff. <laughs> I like it. That's good. Don't sweat or sweat. No, sweat the small stuff. What, what are you saying by sweating the small stuff? What, well, what reflect you... it, reflecting on the, on the on the smaller on the smaller Make things. Make sure you think about it. The small, the, the small stuff is important in this in this scenario. Okay. Reflecting on the small stuff. Okay. And what did we get from you, Lee? Is it just? Um, I don't know. It sounded really good when I said it earlier, though. Something about. Um... I'm saying it's, I'm building that mindset. The three is it's similar, but the the three again. I went into this with it being big reflection, but actually it's the small. It is the small things. It's three good things, one improvement thing, and trying to just get that. Both when I'm feeling good and when I'm feeling bad at the end of the day, 
that I revert to that as a good kind of psychological coping mechanism, if you like. So really, it's just been not great. Three good things that happen, one improvement when it's not going so well. Yes. Right? Okay. Um, and what, Jose, what for you? For me, what is a self-reflection? You've got some good ones there. For me, is to make time to reflect, I think, you know, Having, actually having a schedule and I know like Lee and Ryan you sort of should I dedicate time I think to actually book it in I mean I don't book it in now but if you're going to do it like for me the reflection is to make sure it does happen it only takes a minute but plan it into your day get it into some sort of calendar so you are actually going to do it so for me my trigger is bed I'm going to bed before I go to bed I'll write in so I'm, for me it's going to be scheduling reflection time do you know the only fixed thing that happens in my life other than sleep and shower and work is this like, and, and nothing else is planned in my week i get up i go to work and i just relax and do what i want for the rest of it so i don't know i, I, I don't know if i can commit to something else in my schedule you know i'm pretty chocker in the evening i just i just heard in that sentence that ryan's life revolves around lee that's what i heard and if we'd heard go on go on ryan go respond to that no i mean he's not wrong so it is, <laughs> it is what that. it is. It is I'll what take it is. So just to share something with the, with our lovely listeners and our lovely viewers on Instagram. Before we came on, Lee has got a song about Lee that he played. We can't play it because copyrighted, but all we got to do, I don't know, can you find it on YouTube or something? But if you want to hear a song about Lee, where do they find it? Just put Tenacious D Lee into your nondescript search engine and you will find it. Tenacious D. D. Lee. Yes. D for Delta. Or I may not dog if you're in preschool. I may not like Tenacious D, but at least I know they exist. Joe's out here saying, oh, "Who's Tenacious D?" <laughs> Tenacious B was that? A tetanus B. <laughs> Sounds like right. Yeah. We descended into ramble, so it's time to to wrap it up now. We appreciate everyone as always for downloading us for watching on youtube check us out again jose noy inspiration nation stick it into your search engine follow us on social media at listen to in and head over to inspirationnation.org.uk most importantly than anything else if you're enjoying this if you love the inspiration leave us a review and tell friends tell family get them to listen as well we would really really appreciate it very quickly there we go <laughs> and also uh, Angela thought the uh, sound of the washing machine was a microwave which it wasn't however my microwave will be going off soon and you guys will be glad to know that I may put some bacon in there I ju oh, just end it just end it I can't deal with microwave <laughs> bacon <laughs> get me what? out 3, 2, 1 Inspiration Nation catch Very you guys later, later. Oh. microwave bacon <laughs> <laughs> come on